representative of Senator Dinneman's office. Senator Dinneman could not make it today. So Michael Boyd is here to present the next award. My name is Michael, representing Senator Dinneman today. First off, I'd like to apologize that Senator wasn't able to make it. He had a family obligation he had to go to last minute today. Um, but I'm certainly glad to be here um, to present this award to uh, Mr. Elwood Dixon. Um, so I, I'm not the politician, so I won't talk like one. But I'll just say a number of things, a few things, out of a long list of things that Mr. Dixon has done throughout his life. First off, he's a veteran. He was in the United States Army for three, four years, I believe. He's now doing a number of things for community service groups and helping the community further. And so, I'd like to present the award now. Mr. Dixon is also receiving the Nehemiah Community Developed Corporation Award for Exceptional Community Involvement and Service. And it says, Mr. Dixon, in recognition for your outstanding commitment to a standard of excellence and dedication to the Coatesville community, it gives us great pleasure to salute you for your faithful and selfless acts of kindness to help make our community great. It is with extreme gratitude that we honor you on this day, the 19th of August, 2017, with this award. And furthermore, I'd like to say that Senator Dinneman extends his greatest uh, regrets that he couldn't be here. And you have worked together with him a number of times in the past. And you know, I would know he would like me to thank you. All right, so congratulations. I just want to thank all of you for bestowing his honor upon me. And this is just not mine. Because over the years, I've worked with so many people. And you need people to work with. You can, no man is an island. No man. If someone comes up and tells me they did something by themselves, I have to look at it. It's not possible. You cannot do it by yourself unless you're looking for favor. And I say to you that help. If you get into a problem, the first thing you do is the first thing you must do is to confront the person that's going to the problem when you have your job. Confront them. They don't believe that you're going to do it because they think that you're afraid of your job. It happened to me. I know what happened to me. I was working in Lucas and it was my long weekend. The guy kept taking my long weekend from waiting. My sister was my phone. When I, when I went to him, I said to him, you've taken my, sick, my, my uh, days away from me. He said, well, I thought you didn't mind because you didn't say anything. Then he smiled. When I went home, I sat down and I listened and I thought over what he said. And it was a smirk on his father that hurt me. Being smart. So I went to the union and I said, to, I told the union about it, and the union said, okay, we're going to get him and his supervisor together. And his supervisor, he got two days suspension. The day that he, then when he, when he came back, he said to me, Elwood, oh, you're a troublemaker. I said, well, wait a minute, let me ask you something. Are you saying that I didn't bring the right person to give you enough time off? And he got mad. He walked away from me. But please, for your own benefit, go to the person and whoever is doing it to you. Challenge it. You have to challenge it. Don't live under fear under your job. Do not do that. And I'm going to tell you this, that if you're if you're not at the table, then you're on the menu because they are chewing you up. So you have to remember. Thank you.
somebody that they can look at so that they can do better. And the more that we continue to do that just for one child, we're going to do better. It's without a doubt. Thank you.